Welcome to Purple Bandidos, welcome back to our Let's Play Pokemon Ash Gray version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we explored Viridian Forest, took on Team Rocket twice, as well as caught a Caterpie and a Pidgeotto. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and leveled up Caterpie to level 8, Pikachu is 10, and Pidgeotto is level 12. Thanks to all you guys who gave me a lot of great tips. I've actually just been training here in the grass, and thankfully enough, we have this young lady over here who just constantly heals us up. So I highly suggest you guys train there if you're having a little bit of a tough time. Uh, so once again, thank you guys very much for that, and today we're going to continue on with our adventure also one more little thing is you know thanks to all you guys who have been you know giving me all that feedback and liking the videos you know make sure to give this video a thumbs up it's much appreciated I really appreciate you guys you know liking the video it lets me know that you're enjoying the series and it makes me want to keep on going with it and it makes me want to put up as many videos as possible as I can with it you know as long as you guys are enjoying it I will continue to go on with this series and so far I think uh, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback back from it so thank you guys very much let's go ahead and talk to this guy and see what's going on greetings i am addressing the pokemon trainer who comes from pallet then i found you at last i'm samurai let's have a pokemon match and see who triumphs okay so samurai is actually straight out of the anime if i remember correctly i think this is one of the guys you first battle and yeah he has a pincer so he definitely is that guy i don't think caterpie is going to be the best fit to go against it though so i'm going to go ahead and switch out to pidgeotto pidgeotto has actually been uh so easy to train here uh, that I've been quite enjoying the training. That was actually a really good spot. Uh, so thanks to all you guys who actually told me to train there ahead of time. Uh, it has come in super handy. It has been so freaking helpful. I can't even tell you guys how helpful it has been uh, to just sit there and train up a little bit. Uh, you know, I'm nervous about all the things coming up. Uh, but as long as you guys just keep on going and keep on helping me out, I'm sure we'll do great. So with that, guys, Pinsir is going to go ahead and go down. Uh, and hopefully we gain a good amount of XP for that. Caterpie gained a ton of XP. Uh, so that's really cool. I'll take that Piaggiotto also gained a lot of XP. Next is Metapod. Huh. Should I switch? I think for now I am just going to go ahead and knock out the Metapod with Pidgeotto. I want Pidgeotto to get a lot more XP for reasons which will be coming up later on. I believe that Pidgeotto needs to gain as many levels as possible for now. So that's what we're going to be do doing. And we went ahead and grew to level 13. That's actually not too shabby. We learned Quick Attack. Cool. About time. It's actually really, really good. We defeated Bugcatcher Samurai. Do you hear that buzzing? We got 96 for winning, and no, I, I don't hear buzzing. Caterpie's evolving! Okay, so very, very cool. Uh, we finally reached our level. That's great. I wanted Caterpie to evolve uh, before we made our way out of Viridian Forest. So, so far, so good. I think so far we're following pretty well along with the anime. And with that, guys, our Caterpie has gone ahead and evolved into a Metapod. So, congratulations! Our Caterpie is now a freaky green cocoon looking thing a beedrill storm approaches quick get to my cabin wait where's your cabin i can't control the game uh oh a group of wild beedrills attacking maybe metapod's heart attack can help protect you please help us metapod go metapod help us out oh mother fudge this beedrill looks terrifying what is it doing what what is it really oh it what the fudge Oh no, the wild beedrill swept down and grabbed Metapod in its arms. It flew off with Metapod. No way. What the fudge? We just got Poke kidnapped. What the fudge? They just stole our Pokemon. I hope you learned your lesson, novice. You're letting that Weedle escape almost cost our, our lives. The other trainers from Pallet would never be so responsible. At three matches with Pallet trainers, those trainers really knew how to raise Pokemon. Though I lost, I have been training to face the next trainer from Pallet. But you proved to be only a novice. Now rest your Pokemon. Wow, so we are the weakest of the trainers and our Metapod got stolen Don't remember if that happens in the game, but that kind of sucks. Oh Why is that our Metapod? Uh, Metapod, so there you are quick get me into the Pokeball. All right, so Metapod returned to its Pokeball and we have a Beedrill uh, The one that stole it attacking us. Oh mother fudger. Could this go any more wrong today? Ooh, no, 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 no. This is not Pidgeotto's turn. You know whose turn it is it is Metapod's turn, ladies and gentlemen. Come on out, Metapod. Uh, it's your time to shine, baby. You're gonna do this for us. We believe in you, we believe in you. This is the monster that freaking stole you away from us, uh, and we believe in you. We think you can do this. Ah, uh, what the heck? I don't even know Harden. What in the fudge, dude? All right, well, hopefully we do a lot. Nope, this is not gonna be a fun battle for us. This is not gonna be a fun battle at all, this Beedrill is literally gonna tear us apart right now uh which really sucks i think i might just switch out to pidgeotto honestly 
Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. Pidgeotto will just knock this thing out. Uh, you know what? Even Pikachu will knock this thing out right now. Uh, but with that, we're gonna go ahead and send out Pidgeotto. And uh, we're getting Poison Stung up the butt. That I hate I hate Poison Sting. That thing is annoying. With that, the Beedrill should go down. Get out of here, Beedrill. We, we don't want your sass. We don't need you doing that to us. Pidgeotto gained a bunch of XP. Metapod gained some XP. Grew to level 10 as well. And with that, we defeated it. And what? Metapod is evolving again? Okay, now this is exactly with the anime. If I remember correctly, Metapod fights the Beedrill and then evolves. And that looks like what's happening here uh metapod is going ahead and evolving and with that guys metapod oh look how cute that thing is sweet congratulations our metapod evolved into butterfree ah oh, it looks awesome we learned sleep powder that thing is so cute that thing is adorable i'm gonna go show it off to this guy because he called me a crap trainer check this out bro i just got me a butterfree what have you gotten yourself Nothing. That's what I thought. All right. Who wants to whoop out the Butterfree for battle? Because I kind of do. Come out now, Butterfree. I kind of want to see you. I don't think I've ever had a Butterfree in a Let's Play. So that's kind of kind of cool. We have ourselves a battle. Uh, let's go ahead and battle them. I'm kind of like super excited now that we have a Butterfree. I think that makes that so much more fun. I hope we're keeping up with the anime right now. Make sure you leave me some comments to let me know. Make sure we're doing this correctly. Um, I want to make sure, you know, we're doing this pretty well. I hope we're sticking to it as much as, as possible. Uh, I think we are, but I'm honestly not that sure. I, I don't remember uh, exactly. Come on, how much do we do? Yeah, okay. So Butterfree definitely a little bit stronger than the Metapod. Doing a little bit more damage, and I will take it. Uh, this is going really great. Two crits back to back before a gym. That is not good news. That is not good news at all. I don't like that one bit. I don't like... When we start getting crits or, you know, putting up all this sort of damage before a big fight. I That always worries me a little bit because it makes me think like, hey, what could be coming or what is going to be happening? And it makes me a little, just a, a teeny bit nervous, guys. Just a teeny bit nervous. Uh, I think we're about to defeat this though. Wow, this is cool. I, I, I like using Butterfree. It was actually one of the Pokemon that I always found really interesting. Uh, I just thought it was like really, really cool. But I never had the chance to use one. So I'm kind of glad I'm using one with you guys right now. Last but not least is going to be one more Metapod. And I'm not even worried about it. Our Butterfree is kicking some serious butt. And, uh, you know, our other two Pokemon members are very, very strong as well. This thing's going to pull out the Harden. Are you kidding me right now? Are you? I'm just going to go ahead and switch. I don't even want... Uh, come on, Pikachu. We haven't, we haven't had you out in a while. Even though you're always running around outside of your Pokeball. See, it's kind of weird. Uh, I thought you would have had the Pikachu, like, following you around, like, 24-7. But I guess they've done it so he's just, like, in a broken Pokeball. Which I guess makes a little bit of sense. But, uh, I don't know. I think it would have been a little cool if you would have had the Pikachu, like, following behind you the whole time. I think that could have been uh, really, really interesting. But with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and knock out the Metapod. And I think we're almost through all the battles here in the Viridian Forest. I'm not sure how many battles there are going to be. But we're doing quite well. We gained some XP. Uh, everybody's gaining levels. We're doing good. All right, we've defeated Bugcatcher Charlie. Let's keep on going. I I'm really liking the fact that we're making it through here without too much trouble. And I think we're almost out of Viridian Forest, which is really, really good news for us. I hope we don't have any battles when we get out of here. Uh, but it looks like we have made it out of Viridian Forest, guys. Let me read what the sign says. Leaving Viridian Forest. Pewter City ahead. Sweet. So we have made it to Route 2. Who the heck's this guy? Flint's Rock Shop. Rock souvenirs for your stay at the stone gray city of Pewter. Pewter City's gray. The color is stone. This town has always been famous for stone. The name's Flint, and you're standing on some of my merchandise, young man. These rocks are Pewter City souvenirs. Want to buy some? Sure. A hard stone? Held by Pokemon Unbreakable Stone that boosts the power of rock type moves? I mean, I guess I could buy one. You never know when it could come in handy. Thanks, Flint. You're kind of sketchy looking, man. He says, don't tell me you're challenging Brock, the Pewter City gym leader. Ha ha, you really think you'll beat him? Ha 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 ha. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think I definitely, uh, I thought I could. I, I thought, I thought I stood a chance. Hey, Nurse Joy, uh, let me tell you about my Butterfree, all right? So my Butterfree, all right? Uh, this Beedrill comes up, right? This Beedrill comes up, stings my Butterfree right in the face. Just boop, sticks it in the face. Uh, my Metapod mans up, you know, starts starts knocking it down, you know, beats it up, and uh, turns into a Butterfree. I know I know you probably like Butterfreeze. You've seen a lot of them. Okay, uh, mine's special. 
Let me tell you, mine's special. You will regret the day you said my Butterfree wasn't special. Okay, guys, so we're here at Pewter City. I guess we can explore around a little bit uh, before we take on the gym because I can't really tell you what I'm expecting from the gym. Definitely going to buy, like, six potions. Heck, yeah. Potions are going to come in very handy uh, here coming up on the gym, which is something that we're probably going to do next time. Uh, so make sure you start writing down the tips for the gym. Pewter has its own hydroelectric plant. Okay, that's cool. I'm just going to explore around the buildings. There's the gym. I don't really want to head in that direction yet. Clefairy came from the moon. What else is here? Let's see. There seems to be something up here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and explore around. Because I... Oh, well, no, nothing. I can't go through that. Okay, I, I really would have thought... I would have been able to go through here. Oh, it's just through here. Okay, let me go ahead and explore inside of this uh, little little place. I don't even know what it is. Hello there, youngin. I'm Tough Tim. I raise my Pokemon to be tough and ordinary as they can be. If you like it, help toughen up your Pokemon too for the price of just one yellow shard. Don't have a yellow shard, guys, but I guess that is somewhere where we could come to next time uh, in order to find a couple more things. Let me see. There's uh, one more place up here. Let's head inside, see what this place is. What the fudge is this? Have you ever played with a Geodude? It can roll itself up into a ball. Rock Pokemon are neat, aren't they? I think this is a Pokemon school. Uh, I don't really know what the heck exactly it is. Um, I, I think I remember a Pokemon school being in the anime. So I guess that is just something that they have added on here. I don't know if anything special triggers if you talk to all of them. Uh, but that's okay. I guess I could I could talk to all of them and, and see if anything triggers. You never know what could happen. You never know what they've added into this game. I think this is the last one. My brother loves his Pokemon. I guess it's just a little kitty school, which is okay with me. But I guess that's all there really is to do here, guys. Next time, we're going to be entering the gym and uh, hopefully figuring out what it is. We're going to be entering Pewter City Pokemon Gym, taking on its leader, Brock, the rock-solid Pokemon trainer. So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up on the gym or any special events that we might be bumping into, make sure to let me know. I hope you guys have been enjoying this Let's Play so far. Make sure to give this video a like takes two seconds click the button uh leave me some comments give me some feedback thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode goodbye